What's good, y'all, man? It's your boy, Wayne K. Swag on them. So we're going to do a YouTube series. We're just going to talk about, like, just like this video. And we're going to do a lot of these because I do need to be in the YouTube content. We're going to talk about, like, what does it mean as it regards to me in high school, like, how to get to the next level. Like, just my perspective on it and my thoughts. Um, I'm not going to be out here preaching. I'm not going to do all that. I think that's super unnecessary. I'm just going to kind of get to the point, bro. It starts with, like, who you kicking it with. Like, quit laming around, quit kicking it with lame ass dudes. For real. Like, the lames, the people on your team that ain't doing shit, like, quit kicking with them fools. The people that's bullshitting, quit kicking it with those type of dudes. Like, like, stop. Get them dudes out your circle. You know what I mean? Now, this video is like only for, like, if you're really serious about getting to the next level. So, like, having that mentality of, like, I'm only going to have dogs around me that are trying to, like, you know, get to the next level, like, that's something that's important. Like, what I mean by that is, like, have people in your circle that, you know, they ready to work out and things like that. And it, it's okay. Listen, if you ain't got people in your circle that's ready to work out and, like, ready to put in work, it's all good. Do that shit alone. <laughs> There's been plenty of times in my life, bro, where everybody, people not trying to work out. And I just go, I just go get in by myself. I'm just out on the field. I got my music playing. And I'm just hitting drills, you know what I mean, by myself perfecting my craft. Like, you don't always need some big group. You don't need some big name people to be with you when you're, like, putting in work, bro. So, like, if you got dogs with you that are trying to put in work, or you're doing it your own. And one thing you cannot tolerate, though, is people that are bailing out. People that's bailing out on workouts when you guys have plans to work out, like, shut them down. At that point in time, you either, you show up. If you set a time and date, you show up. You don't wait on the next man or when he's going to pull up or nothing like that. Nah. Go put your work in. I mean, that's the first step, though. Quit kicking with the lames. You got to get the lames out your circle. Just people that's not serious. Can you hang out with them on the weekends? Hell yeah. Hang out with them. Have fun on the weekends. No problem. But in regards to putting in work on the football field, they cannot be around you. They are distractions. Eliminate all their distractions. Be cool with them. Hey, what's up? At some point, bro, you don't need to tell them you're working out. Just be on some solo, like, just on, like, some Batman shit. Like, you just go in here and, like, you put in the work, doing what you need to. There's sometimes you don't need to do all the talking. You don't need, you just don't need to do that. I do recommend filming your workouts if you can. Get a little tripod, things like that. Like, you know what I mean? Maybe post online so that people see. But, like, other than that, like, yeah, eliminate eliminate the, the homies, you know what I mean? The weird guys. You got to low-key lock in and go, like, on some solo stuff. Don't get me wrong. You'll have time to socialize, have fun, and things like that. But the negative folks, the people, not even negative, people just not on the same mission of you, hang out with them when it's time. It's called, like, conditional relationships, bro. Like, when it's time to go hang out, party, go kick it with them. When it's time to hit the field, I, I'll, I'll catch y'all. I'll catch y'all at, uh, at the place. Get your work in. Prioritize that stuff. You know what I mean? Another thing is, like, y'all can't, you can't be disrespecting your coaches. They dictate if you get on the field or not. So, like... If them dudes are like, hey, like, you need to lock in or you need, we need this out of you, make sure you listen. You know what I mean? You're taking direction. You're the kid. They're the adult. Don't ever get it twisted. Please don't ever get it twisted. Yes, it's important to advocate for yourself, but know your role. That's the biggest thing, bro, when it comes to, like, taking coaching. Know your role. There will be a time at some point in your life when you're able to kind of be, the, be that guy and you can tell people what to do and things like that. But at times when you're a kid, you got to know your role, okay? Don't be the I guy. Be a team guy. In the long run, it's going to play out. It's going to play out. Um, one thing also, one else thing I wanted to talk about was, like, for all, like, the short dudes. Like, if you're short and you're playing football, if you're short and you're playing football, the chances are very, very slim. And it's okay. You know, I tell people this all the time. Football is a very, very short time period. This is not a full-on thing that you've been doing for the rest of your life. Some people don't even make it. Like, it's a small percentage of people that get to where they need to get to. I'm telling you right now, do not lose sleep over your height and weight and being small or whatever. All I'm going to say is this. If you are short, I recommend that you do a lot. If you're a receiver, running back, and you're short, you better be on punt return. You better be on kick return. You better be on. You better be doing it all, Okay. If you're on defense, you better be on special teams too. You know what I mean? You better know safety, corner, all that stuff. And you short and you short and small linebackers, like short, short, bro, you just not be able to play. It is what it is. There's other shit you, you can do. Uh, cool little five-minute video. I hope this video helps. We're going to do a lot more of these. I appreciate you guys tuning in, man. 
Your boy one is out of here.